Hello folks, this is Mike, and this is the Ryobi 15-inch surface cleaner in action. Now it's designed for use with gasoline pressure washers in the 2500 to 3300 PSI range. And I'm going to be using it with my Ryobi 3000 PSI machine, which is a really good match. So how do you use it? And how do you maintain it? And what do you do if it stops spinning or cleaning? And the $64,000 question, how long will it last? Well, we're going to talk about all of these things in this video, so please stick with us to the end. Now, if you're new to this subject, let me explain a couple of things. First, these units are for horizontal surfaces. They're for sidewalks, driveways, patios, decks, that sort of thing. They're not for vertical surfaces like walls or fences. They're also not designed to remove paint or finish it. They're not going to remove those dried up oil stains on your driveway either. It's not going to remove anything that you can't already remove with your spray wand. Also, they're not one size fits all. You'll notice there's a range on here, 2500 to 3300 PSI, and that's the size of pressure washer these are designed to work with. So if you have a small electrical pressure washer, they actually make a cone specially for that. Or if you have a commercial model, high pressure, they make them for that too. So what I'll do is I'll include some paid links in my video description. You can check those out. If nothing else, uh, use those as a springboard for your internet search. But they'll give you a little bit of an idea. And before we go on, I need to do the commercial, <laughs> okay? I need to ask you to please go below and like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell because I do a lot of these how-to videos and product reviews. So that way you won't miss anything. When you open the box, you'll notice that the cleaner is all in one piece. So there's no real assembly. There's a manual and the usual plastic and cardboard protectors for you to remove. The yellow cone is actually made of a heavy duty plastic material. The outer rim is a brush type material. The quick connect and the nozzle assembly are made of metal. There is a universal one quarter inch quick connect that will hook up the most brands of pressure washers. The attached coiled piece of wire is actually a nozzle cleaner and you want to put that somewhere where you can find it and I'll show you how to use that later. So now let's see how well it works and I've saved a really dirty section of sidewalk for us to work on. In this segment you'll see the difference between using a 15 or 25 degree nozzle and using this surface cleaner. The difference in speed and coverage is dramatic. And I didn't even use soap on this concrete. The grass here is higher than the sidewalk. And if you have a problem with the cone getting the edges good and clean, well, here's a solution. I've reinstalled a 25 degree nozzle and I'm using it just to clean up the edges. It's a little bit slower, but it's gonna look great when we're done. Now back to the cone. And with the Quick Connect, it's really easy to switch back and forth between your spray nozzle and your pressure cone. And I can zip through the remaining dirty area. I appear to be going at a moderate speed here, but even at this pace, we're cleaning up to four times faster than just using the spray nozzle alone. Of course, if you try to go too fast, you'll end up with a streak or a swirl pattern remaining on your surface. And we don't really want that. Now we're getting a really thoroughly cleaned area and no problem with those dirty edges. Unlike heavy commercial models with wheels, if you relax a little too much and inadvertently lift the cone, it can go airborne on you. You can also be tempted to lift it and clear away dirty water. But be careful, it might get away from you. And it's easier just to put your nozzle back on and just clear the excess water away. The unit really doesn't require much maintenance, but if it quits or if you notice the performance really dropping off, that's usually an indication that the jets are clogged. Uh, so let me show you how to clear them. Now actually mine has never clogged, but this is a general complaint from many owners of these devices. The simple method is to use that wire cleaning tool that I showed you earlier in the video. And you can just clean out the tips like so. Now the obstruction that you just worked loose may clog right back up if you try to use the machine right now. So let's take an additional step. There's also a small brass screen filter that can clog up. It's housed inside of the quick connect fitting. It can be removed with a small flat bladed screwdriver and then you can either clean it or replace it with a new one. 
And here's a close-up. Uh, oops, obviously somebody needs a manicure. Before replacing the filter, we're going to back flush the nozzle to remove the obstruction or any debris. Force water into the small nozzle opening until the water comes out of the other nozzle. Let it drain and that's all there is to it. And that should do the trick. Now we can screw the filter back in and we're ready to pressure wash. If you try this a couple of times and it still doesn't work, you can remove the nozzle ends and then clean them out with a little wire tool. Now these are really put in tight, but there's a place on the nozzle for a wrench and with a little effort you can unscrew them. Before you put them back in, be sure to back flush through the quick connect and replace the filter if you removed it. Now there's another cause for wobble and vibration besides just having clogged water jets and, and that could be a worn bearing. And surface cleaners, regardless of brand, can be affected by this. Now I'm using a hex wrench and I'm going to back out the bearing. And the reason for this kind of failure is that because these bearings are constantly being bombarded with water and dirt. This is a really tough environment for them. And there are two flat composite washers here and an O-ring at the bottom. So now I'm going to push the bearing out of the housing and see how dry it is. Definitely needs lubrication. This is a sleeve bearing, but it's made of stainless steel, which is what you need in water surface. The black rings you see are actually seals, and they act to keep the water in the bearing. Now first clean it inside and out. And now I'm going to pack it with grease. And this is just an auto wheel bearing grease. Now we'll reinsert the bearing and just clean it up good. And I'm going to clean off the excess, put the washers back on it, and screw it back together. And I'm ready for the next job. Now remember this $64,000 question was how long will it last? And that will depend on how often you lubricate the bearings. The manual that comes with it is very sketchy. And it doesn't even cover this. And they may not think it's necessary. But I always lubricate the bearings after each use. I think it will make it last longer. And indeed, I have not ever had a bearing failure. And you need to do it frequently because the pressurized water will flush the grease out of the bearing eventually. I've had the Ryobi about two years now. And I really have had no problems with it. It's easy to use and it does a good job. So basically, I'm happy with it. Uh, I just hope it lasts many more years. <laughs> so also, I would love to hear your surface cleaner experiences and problems. So be sure to fire me off a comment and I will answer you personally. And folks, that's going to do it for today. <laughs> so until next time, thanks for watching.